Sure, what's up guys, I noticed I was spending way too much time on things that don't really matter. Endless scrolling, random distraction, you name it. So I built a cute little gadget to help me focus and get stuff done. Let me show you what it is and how I made it. The first essential component is the display. I'm using a 2.8 inches IPS display from DF Robot. Next we'll need a potentiometer, I'm using one from DF Robot as well, it's reliable and works perfectly for our needs. Now for the brain of the project, the ESP32C3. The best part, connecting the display to the ESP32C3 is super simple. The display comes with a flex ribbon cable that pairs seamlessly with the breakout board included with the microcontroller. That's it, we have gathered all the components we need, now let's move on to the fun part, making the connections. The connections are quite simple. First we'll attach the display to the microcontroller using the ribbon cable. Next we'll directly solder the potentiometer to the microcontroller pins. With that, the hardware setup is complete. Now it's time to bring this project to life with some codes. We have written a straightforward code for this project. Let's upload it to the microcontroller and see everything in action. I think I haven't explained what this gadget does. It's a countdown timer that lets you set the timer anywhere from 1 minute to 1 hour. Once the countdown begins, you can focus completely on your task while it keeps the track of the time for you. Now that the hardware setup is complete, we can move to the next step. But before that, let's talk about today's sponsor, LTM. If you are into electronics and PCB design like me, you have probably heard of LTM Designer. It's one of the most powerful tools out there for bringing your ideas to life. From a schematics to layout, it's got everything you need with a super intuitive workflow. But what really sets it apart is LTM 365. It moves your entire design process to the cloud so you can access your project from anywhere, collaborate with a team in real time and even manage component without ever leaving the platform. It's let you comment on specific part of the design and sync changes in real time with your team or manufacturer. It's like having a smarter, more connected workspace for your electronics. Check out the link in the description to start your free trial and 25% off. Coming back to the video, here is the 3D design of the project. I think it's pretty cute, looks like a mini TV. Now let's 3D print all the parts and bring this concept to life. The prints turned out fantastic, so let's assemble everything and finalize the project. To make this gadget portable and rechargeable, I'm adding a LiPo battery. The ESP32C3 already has a built-in charging circuit so there is no need for additional one. We'll also need a buzzer to alert us when the countdown finishes so I'm adding this one. Alright, the project is almost complete, just a few finishes touches left. If you look at the original concept, there are some wood elements like the legs and a rotating knob. For the legs, I simply sharpen a pencil then cut off the tip, easy and effective. For the knob, I used a small wooden plank, cut it with a laser engraver and drilled a hole in the middle. Then apply a little bit of hot glue and secure the knob in place. And with that, the project is complete. I'm really happy with how this Pomodoro timer turned out. The design is simple, sleek and vintage, exactly what I was aiming for. Okay. 
As you can see, now it sounds alarm when it finishes the countdown. It's been a such a great help in keeping me focused and managing my work better. But then I thought, why limit it to just a timer? So I updated the code and added a clock feature as well. Now it works as a regular clock and when you rotate the knob, it switches to the timer mode. My girlfriend found it cute so she took it from me. That's why the final reveal looks a little different. It was actually filmed by her and sent it to me. That's it for this video guys. I hope you liked the project. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing projects. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.